Elon Musk and TED Talk. I actually like Elon. I've liked him for many, many years. He's got that personality where his views will change as new information comes in. I wish many people would have that thought process. Hey, hey. Elon, welcome. <clears throat> so, Elon, um, a few hours ago, you made an offer to buy Twitter. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and apparently he's got an extremely good personality for jokes. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> Little bird tweeted in my ear or something, I don't know. By the way, have you seen the movie Ted about the bear? I, I, I have, <laughs> I have. It's a good movie. <laughs> Don't mention that here. <laughs> um, so, um... That is funny. The bear. I would suggest you uh, at least go look up the summary on it. It's quite funny in comparison to what Elon is doing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, was there a question? <laughs> why, why, why make that offer? Oh, so, um, well, I think it's very important for uh, there to be... So he's doing a lot of brain searching, and you see him wiggling a lot. Stress is coming through. The an inclusive arena for free speech, uh, where... You're also hearing that the speech is slowing down and the a uh word is now in use. And seeing how he's leaned back and he's thinking, he's doing a lot of searching, he is filtering his words very carefully. Oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Twitter has become... So he hears the ooh, yeah, from the audience. It's a good, you know, that a boy, that a boy, you did good. Which most people, if they hear that, be like, oh, the audience is with me. I've got an attaboy. Someone is an ally to me. And you would think that this would relax them. I have allies in the audience. I can relax now. But you have to remember, these people are not on your level. It is great that we like them, but we aren't hunting them down or throwing them into gulags. And those people are not cheering him on. Kind of the de facto town square. Um, so uh, it, it, it's just it re really important that people have the both the uh, the reality. And it's getting worse. So he got the attaboy. It didn't stop the stress. It became even more stressed because the people are with him. And it's kind of like looking at a guy who's got the people behind him, but he's still terrified. It's like, holy cow, what in the world are you facing? It apparently is not Goliath. It's something much worse. And the perception uh, that they are able to speak freely within the bounds of the law. Um, and, you know, so one of the things that I believe Twitter should do is open source the algorithm um, and make any changes uh, to people's tweets. You know, if they're emphasized or de-emphasized, uh, that action should be made apparent so you can, anyone can see that that action has been taken. So there's, there's no sort of behind the scenes um, manipulation, either algorithmically or manually. Um, yeah. But <clears throat> last week when we spoke, Elon, um, I asked you whether you were thinking of taking over. You said, no way. You said, I, I do not want to own Twitter. It is a recipe for misery. <laughs> Everyone will blame me for everything. What on earth changed? No, I think, I think everyone will still blame me for everything. <laughs> yeah, if, it, something, if, if, if I acquire a Twitter and something goes wrong, it's my fault, 100%. <laughs> so obviously we're out of that woods of explaining what exactly he wants Twitter for. His speech picks up, the O word is gone, and jokes are back. The stress has been lifted. I, I, I think there will be quite a few arrows, uh, yes. Um, it will, it but, will be miserable, but you still want to do it. Why? I mean, I hope it's not too miserable, uh, but... <laughs> Um, I, I, I just think it's important to the fun, like, uh, it's, it, it's important. So here he comes with this little hand movement and he has brought it really close to himself. It's up high, chest area. He's got this caged item in there that is extremely close to his heart. So he's protecting it. To so the fun function of democracy, um, it's important to the function of uh, the United States uh, as, as a free country and on many other countries and to help actually to help freedom in the world. Uh, so, wow, that one was really interesting. So democracy is in the U.S., blah, 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 da, 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 da. And then freedoms in the world, you get more 
more stressed, like it's extremeness. He's grabbing his hand. He's squeezing, rubbing it. So something with world has given extreme stress to the mind, which obviously is manifesting itself in the body to the hands up near the chest. Broadly than the U.S. Um, so, and so I, I think it's uh, it, it's a... Good God. He's white knuckling that. That is how much stress, whatever it is. You know, when you, you come to stuff like this, because body language is not sign language for all of you who think that I can sit there and say this means that. That's not how it works. This is a look into the subconscious. So you start looking for something to be said to the individual or for the individual to say something to give you an idea or a clue of what is in those hands. I don't think he gives us any clues. He just eventually gets away from it. You know, I think there's, there's the, the risk, civilizational risk uh, is decreased if Twitter, the, the more we can increase the trust of Twitter as a public platform. And so I, I do think this will be somewhat painful. And I'm not sure that I will actually be able to, to acquire it. Um, and I should. So pain is there. Pain, he, I do think this will be somewhat painful. And he kind of releases. He's done. So whatever's in the hands, apparently pain is involved. It's actually quite sad that something so innately human, like free speech and just whining it can be such a topic that an individual who would, most people would assume would have the ability financially to hire their own army to protect them. And they're that stressed. I also say the, the intent is, is to uh, retain as many shareholders as is allowed by the law in a private company, which I think is around 2,000 or so. So we'll, it's, it's not like, a, a, it's, it's definitely not, not from the standpoint of let me figure out how to monopolize or maximize my ownership of Twitter, uh, but we'll, we'll try to bring along as many shareholders as, we, right. as we're allowed to. You um, don't necessarily want to pay out 40 or whatever it is billion dollars in cash. You'd, you'd like them to come, come with you in, in, in the yeah, new but it's, it's, I mean. I mean, I could technically afford it. Um, I, I heard that. I heard that. Um, but 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 it's. But I'm, what I'm saying is, this is this is this is a, this is not a, a, a way to sort of make money. It, uh, you know, I think this is. It's just that I think this is. Um, this could. Uh, my my strong intuitive sense is that uh, having a public platform that is maximally trusted um, and 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 and. and, and broadly inclusive um, is extremely important to the future of civilization. But you've, um, you've described I, yourself. I, I don't care about the economics at all. You, okay, that's, that's cool to hear. You, it, this is not about- So much more relaxed on that as far as bringing the hands down. I mean, he, the stress is still there, but not to the point where it was brought up close to the chest. He's just white knuckling it lower. Yeah, so how can I say, is uh, funding secured? <laughs> I, I have sufficient uh, assets to complete the, uh, <laughs> it's not a forward looking statement, blah, blah, blah. But, but, <laughs> uh, I have, I mean, I can do it if possible. Right. Um, so, um, and um, I mean, I should say actually, even in the, in, in, originally the, uh, with, the, with Tesla back in the day, funding was actually secured. I want to be clear about that. Um, in fact, this may be a good opportunity to, to, to clarify that. Um, if funding was indeed secured, um, and uh, I should say, like, why, why do I do not have respect for the SEC in that situation? And I don't mean to um, blame everyone at the SEC, but certainly the San Francisco office. Um, it's because the SEC uh, knew that funding was secured, um, but they pursued the, uh, an active public investigation nonetheless. At the time, t uh, Tesla was in a precarious financial situation, and I was told by the banks that if I did not agree t to settle with the SEC, that they would, the banks would cease providing working capital and Tesla would go bankrupt immediately. So that's like having a gun to your child's head. Uh, so I was forced to concede to the SEC unlawfully, those bastards, um, <laughs> and and, and now they, they, they think it, it makes it look like I lied when I did not, in fact, lie. I was, I was forced to admit that I lied for, to save Tesla's life, and that's the only reason. Given what's actually happened, <laughs> given what's actually happened to Tesla since then, though, aren't you glad that you didn't take it private? Yeah, I mean, 
it's difficult to put yourself in the position at the time. Tesla was under the most relentless short seller attack in the history of... We just heard the story about, uh, I did not lie. And I sit there watching that as it plays through. And he had become really stiff on that and looking up a lot, accessing that memory and getting away from the stress. I did not lie. Apparently does not like being called a liar. I like Elon. He's a good guy. Does it work out with Twitter? He could possibly buy it. But then me, because I suspect everything and everybody, I would think sabotage as all the psycho employees left. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.